An Instagram post from a Christian guy went viral because he went to Mecca and pretended to be a Muslim. The most hilarious part is that he claimed to have conquered Mecca. Let's watch his video and come back. Very special day today. I'm going to Mecca. I am a god. Hey y'all come look at this. I am a god. This guy went to Mecca and pretended to be a Muslim. So basically he lied and said he went and conquered. Let's analyze the situation objectively. Before entering Mecca, he was forced to say that there is no God but Allah and that Muhammad peace be upon him is the last and final messenger. Even if he doesn't believe it, he had to say it because only Muslims are allowed there. So we made you renounce your religion and pronounce the Shahada and we forced you to submit to Islamic law. What type of conquest is this? You lied because you're a coward and have no respect for your God and your religion. Is this Christianity? You pretend to reject the deity of Jesus your God for some Instagram likes. This is embarrassing. But thank you for showing that Mecca is packed with worshippers from all around the world and that Islam is the number one religion in the world. We are the real conquerors, not you. Islam conquered the heart of all the people you showed worshipping the one true God, the God of Abraham, Jesus and Muhammad peace be upon them all. There is no religion on the face of the earth that can gather that many people in one place for worship and prayer, none whatsoever. And we force you to declare that Jesus is not God as a ticket of entry. And you'll always be labeled as a liar and a person who doesn't even respect his own Bible until you repent. According to your scripture revelation 21 verse 8 but for the cowardly and unbelieving and abominable and murderers and immoral persons and sorcerers and idolaters and all liars their part will be in the lake that burns with fire and brimstone which is the second death according to your own bible the fire is waiting mr liar is this what christianity is coming to this guy says he's a christian and a follower of christ but he makes his money from his female clothing brand that uses naked females as models for promotion and the clothes are like wearing clothes and naked at the same time completely immodest clothing and no sincere christian will ever approve such a brand and this just shows the level of integrity of this so-called christian subhanallah we are blessed of such opposition they humiliate themselves without the need for us to do anything instead of coming at us muslims and pretending to care about your religion when your business is using naked women go and have a halal or moral source of income and start with your churches go and conquer them first because they are full of rainbow flags lately and i don't want to assume your gender because you may be part of the alphabet people who knows looking at your pictures a person may assume you're part of the g's please if you're watching this video next time put your pronouns in your bio because you're making it confusing the black cube that you saw in his, her, them, these, her videos is called the Kaaba. It's located in Mecca, Saudi Arabia. We believe that Abraham, peace be upon him, and his son Ishmael, peace be upon him, built it as the first house of God. A place of worship of the one true God and a place of monotheism. That's why this polytheist wasn't welcome and he had to lie to be there. And Prophet Muhammad, peace be upon him, was born in Mecca and received the first revelation and verses of the Quran there. And monotheism got revived again in the region, alhamdulillah. And Muslims are required if they are able to go at least once in their lives to Mecca to complete the pilgrimage, which in Arabic is called Hajj. You will never find a single Muslim lying and pretending that Jesus is God or that he's not Muslim for fun because we take our religion very seriously. Laughing and joking about Allah is unacceptable in Islam. And if you ask them, they will surely say, we were only conversing and playing. Say, it is Allah and his verses and his messenger that you were mocking. Make no excuse. You have disbelieved after your belief. If we pardon one faction of you, we will punish another faction because they were criminals. May Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala protect us from the misguidance of the hypocrites. Ameen. If you're a Christian watching this, I invite you to repent and submit yourself to the creator and not the creation. I invite you to worship the God of Jesus peace be upon him and to follow Islam, the religion of Jesus peace be upon him and not Christianity, a religion about Jesus peace be upon him. You can watch this video about exposing Rollo Tomasi and the red pill delusion. Don't forget to subscribe for daily uploads. Thank you for watching. السلام عليكم